Hi, my name's Rita Perea and I'm the Garden Guru. Welcome to my downstairs gardening room today. This is where I spend a lot of my time during the winter when I can't get outside to garden. Today, what I'd like to show you is how to transplant um, a hanging basket plant. So this is a plant that I started from a very, very small amount. I just, he broke off from his mother plant. I put him in a glass of water and grew roots. And then I just stuck him in this old clay pot. And you can see he did quite well. This is just a year's growth. And he needs to be repotted now because he's outgrowing this old clay pot. So I've purchased this lovely hanging basket here. And let's see, this is what it's going to look like. And it's nice and large. It's about three times the size of his clay pot. And so he's going to have plenty of room to grow. And I've already filled it with a little bit of potting soil. Now, this particular hanging basket, it, it has um, drainage on the bottom. And you can see right down here, that's all enclosed. And there's about this much room for water. So I don't have to worry about when I water it that it's going to be spilling over. So when you look for a hanging pot, make sure that you get one that has the drainage enclosed so you're not going to be spilling it all over your house. Now that I have the dirt in here, I'm going to take my handy garden trowel here and I'm going to simply gently go around the edges of my plant just to loosen him and get his roots nice and loose. And then I have to be very careful because he's so long I don't want to break him going to gently pull him out and we can see what a nice root mass he has great amount of roots here that looks really good and so what I'm going to do is just gently going to just pull these out just a little bit I don't want to break them just going to pull them out a little bit and now comes the tricky part because before I put that um, soil in there, I want to make sure that the um, pieces of the hanging basket are not going to damage his leaves. And so I just simply need to make sure that I put his leaves inside the string here of the hanging basket. So that wasn't too hard. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Okay. And now he's going to be able to hang freely and he's going to really enjoy that. So, okay. Now that we have that done, I'm going to take my garden trowel and my potting soil. And I like to use organic potting soil. I find that works the best for my plants. A good organic potting soil. And I'm just going to cover up all of those roots. Each corner, cover them all up. And I'm going to cover them all the way to his current crown. So I'm going to cover them all the way up here to his current crown which is right here. Um, I don't want to cover them anymore because that might really suffocate him and hurt him. He'll have a little bit of transplant shock as it is because we're putting him from one container to, to another. But I'm just going to fill him in there and move the dirt around. And I'm going to try hard not to cover up any of his leaves because he won't like that. That won't help him grow. They could actually decay. So, okay, there we go. So we've got it. I'm going to add a little bit more uh, soil as well so we can get it filled all the way up to his crown. Um, but for right now, 
I'm going to give him just a little drink of water. I'm going to give him a nice little shot here. And you can see that I have more room to add some potting soil. And so that's what I'm going to do to get them all ready. After I hang that potting soil, I'll be able to hang him in a nice sunny window up in my kitchen. And look at how beautiful he'll be. Wasn't that easy? And this is a plant that I didn't have to pay for. As I said, he just broke off from his mother plant and grew like crazy over the last year. And I think those are the best kind of plants. Thank you so much for spending time with me this morning. I'm Rita Perea and I'm the Garden Guru.